That's a rocket. Welcome back. I'm Tedward. Welcome to AI Design in Tuckahoe, New York, and welcome to the 2021 Audi S8. And this answers the question, what if Batman had a limousine? <laughs> AI design is where you go when your imagination matches your bank account because they can create anything for you if you can pay the bills. This is the coolest shop in the world because this is where literal dreams come true. And a lot of their clients have multiple cars. So this is just one of many of this individual's collection. And he basically made it so it's an Autobahn burner with all of the safety lights, sirens, and equipment that you could ever want. But because this is done at AI Design, everything looks like it was a factory option. Everything looks integrated perfectly because they do not just tack on stuff. They integrate perfectly. And when you have classic cars, meaningful cars, not only do they make these modifications, but they make them completely reversible. So you'll never damage your exquisite masterpiece it's just now your wild old rally car has a sound system jumping out of the car is our buddy ryan who he is essentially the fleet manager for team champagne ninjas fleet 71 I am. and this is not a fleet 71 customer but they definitely have similar tastes when it comes to lights sirens and all the goodies so basically we've got a 563 horsepower twin turbo v8 no power modifications here and no power modifications needed if that is not enough for you to get down the road at 180 miles an hour well i don't know what to tell you this should be plenty but inside is where things get exciting because yes you want to make some subtle adjustments some subtle touches and it's the little things that count like we want our integrated sound system for the back we want to have the nice headphones back here but we also never had a good place to store them so they've integrated this factory looking leather strap so that way you can just plug directly in and while you're in the rear seats which by the way this is proper luxury you can enjoy your space in isolation up here we have our integrated ipad which allows us to not only have our ipad as we need it but we can also plug in to this center console and it gives us the opportunity to watch our movies our tv shows do some work all the things that you need to do while you're going fast but just in case you need a drink they have installed a refrigerator between the two seats. That's incredibly helpful because on a long, fast trip, you're going to need to stay hydrated. And maybe it's just a celebratory hydration. I don't know the, the drinking laws, but, you know, it's probably good for a bottle of champagne. This came from the previous generation of the S8, but they have seamlessly integrated it into this car. This looks factory. It is not. So Ryan, take us to the back. We can hear everybody working in the workshop, which I love. This is a very active place, but we've got antennas on the car. What are these antennas for? Well, some of them I can't talk about. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, in the car, there is a cell phone booster um, and there is a satellite phone. Okay, that's very helpful because if you're out in the middle of nowhere, you know, I'll show you the satellite phone. That's what you need. It lives in the trunk. Wonderful. Oh, so we love that. There's also a, a usable piece inside where you can make calls from. And I love it even with the refrigerator taking up a whole bunch of space in the middle, there's still room for that first aid bag. And I love the cubbies. This looks like you just walked into a fire station and this is just what you need to get the job done. And down here, I can see that you guys have integrated some additional lighting. These are the reverse lights on Those this are the car? reverse lights, yep. That's wild, yeah, so you never see that. There's also a switch where you can turn them on uh, as a momentary. That's fantastic. And I love that, especially in super dark conditions, it's always nice to be able to blast some light because here's the thing. Every car now has rear view cameras, but at night on a dark driveway, a dark road, those cameras have terrible dynamic range and they're very grainy in the dark. So to be able to really blast some light well, on the, what's behind you. factory reverse lights are these little... Yeah, they, they don't do anything. So that's great too. Gluing us to the road up front and in the rear is a 265 section tire on a 20 inch wheel. But these 20 inch wheels do not look so big because these are some meaty sidewalls. Now, I'm totally digging the style of this wheel, not what you would typically see on an S8 and it blends right in. And for the wheel nerds, these are HRE 501Ms. We're gonna take this out for a drive, but first let's take a look under the hood. 
super heavy hood, but we've got these massive hood struts, and there we've got our familiar 4-liter V8. These things are fantastic. This engine always surprises me out of the box. Audi did not slouch on power and torque, and these spool up ultra quick, and they just pull and pull and pull. So I totally understand keeping the stock. I do believe that this particular customer is going with an APR tune pretty soon. Some people go with the extra big turbos that were found on like the RS7s as well well i honestly don't think it's necessary but i fully respect and understand why you do it so let's jump in with ryan take this thing for a ride and i think i'm actually going to have him chauffeur me around a little bit because look at the size of this rear door yeah i'm going to stretch out and enjoy the massage chairs hidden beneath the seat to control our lights and sirens is our familiar whalen controller this is great because this is what i'm used to using on a lot of the team champagne ninjas cars which are also built here at ai design this is great because you can kind of make them do anything you want but we've got sirens lights of different colors i can only show you so much because uh yeah certain things may be a little frowned upon by local law enforcement to start the s8 very familiar we've got our key fob sitting in here which actually by the way audi knows how to make key fobs this is the correct size weight and feel of a key fob not everybody has figured this out but that is nice it's substantial enough to know that it's expensive it's slim enough to fit in your pocket to start we've got our engine start stop button down here jumps to life nice and quick and smoothly and then our hvac system opens up it is so cool to watch these sort of integrated things happen always makes me nervous as a secondhand buyer but under a warranty i think i respect it and more integrated things up here there is a legend of course of which button does what but if you own this car you would certainly know what lights are triggered by what button and then We'll throw it in drive and take it for a ride. Welcome to Stinger. That is always a comforting message because if you were cranking up to Vermont on the highway, having a straight on, yeah. having the, the laser jammers gives you one extra layer of protection if your radar detector, laser detector, or your just naked eyes didn't do the job well enough for you. And I've definitely been in those situations at some pretty alarming speeds, and it is quite nice to know that they did not get a read on you. Radar KA. <laughs> Thank you. So, the first thing you notice about the S8 is how alarmingly smooth it is. And honestly, thank you. Thank you, because there is a cop ahead. So that's no joke. always tap this to, to Sweet. <laughs> there he is. Isn't that great? No false alarms here, man. We are doing it. Heading straight on? Right yeah, we'll go straight on for a second. Sure. We're going to try to find a little highway stand. <laughs> It's great. It's, it's amazing because I haven't had a radar detector in years. I used to radar use a Valentine KA. 1 all the time. Attitude. And I loved it because it would tell you which direction the, the, the signal was coming from. And with this, it, it's even more integrated. It's even more ridiculous. And now you've got these great screens. Oh, I love the suspension in these S8s. You know, Audi doesn't just do the BMW thing where they say, oh, we're making a sporty version, so it needs to be miserably stiff. This is actually quite supple. And with an S badge on it, they don't just make everything, you know, extra tight, extra obnoxious. It actually does do the limo thing quite well. And with the rear steer, despite being basically an extended wheelbase vehicle, even though it's standard as such, it feels a lot smaller. Oh, and these brakes, everything about this is just so smooth. This is one of the best things about these engines too, is that this is like the closest you're gonna get to the electric car vibe of just having torque at essentially zero RPM. While we're stopped at this light, check this out. We can hit this little touch sensitive button and then boom, there we go. And you can adjust what you want. You just slide your finger. How you, oh yeah. <laughs> Haptic touch, baby. That is so cool. And if you remember that iPad in the back, you can actually pop that up front too. So that is a custom made thing from AI Design, which is great because, you know, this is solid. Anytime you get little phone mounts, things like that, they don't always fit correctly. They wobble, they rattle. And you still, his wife wanted the mirror to work. So when the iPad's not there, you still have a mirror. If we took a normal pad mount, it never would have worked. Not a chance. Let's jump on the Hutchinson. Ah, 
that's a rocket. And that's the thing, you put an APR tune on this thing. Oh, the low end grunt of this thing is just absolutely mind boggling. And that's the beauty of these things, just stock out of the box. They are built for this. They just wanna go. And it doesn't even feel extreme. If we were doing this in a little sports car, Whoever your passengers are would probably be like, slow down, you're being crazy. But in the Audi, it just doesn't matter. You're in the back, you're watching You're watching SpongeBob, your kids are just chilling in their massage chairs. They wouldn't even think twice. They wouldn't know how fast you're going. Yeah, the best thing about what AI design does, because that's really what this, this car is about, is that Everything looks stock. I have to hunt to find what they've done in these cars. I always have to get in, and because I'm familiar with the Team Champagne Ninjas cars, I know some of the switch gear that they like to use because it's super high quality, it feels really good. I'm not gonna press them because I will probably put on some ridiculous siren and I don't wanna do that, but they feel so good. The switch gear is great, and it looks like it came from the factory. And this one, because it's a German car, everything has to look sort of that bespoke German style. It needs to look like it came from Audi. But they're working on all kinds of stuff. They're working on Ferraris, McLarens, Porsches, vintage cars. And it's tricky because you know you can't necessarily use the same switch gear in a, a rally car from the 1980s. It's gotta look a little different. So they're always looking for certain materials using 3D printers and trying to match the aesthetic of the vehicle that they're installing on. And the best part is that they're always able to go back. They're always able to switch it up and make a, 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 a modified car stock again. Oh, I love the brakes in these cars. Yeah, everything's so smooth. It's crazy. I'll just head up this way. The rear steer is so noticeable in those moments when you're just coming around a tight yeah. corner. It's nuts. And even like this. It just pulls it so tight. It does. And it's like, it's not as extreme as like the new S class is because that has the most ridiculous rear steer other than the Hummer EV. But this is, it's enough that you notice it and it really shrinks the car. And what it does do to, in my opinion, I think this is super helpful. Take a left here. Oh, sure. Either way. Oh. Um, it makes it so when you come around a corner, we'll go right, we're gonna do this. There's a big curb right there. I can't tell you how many rich dudes have had their 16 year old kid curb the right rear wheel. They come around that corner, they smash the curb because they're not used to driving a long wheelbase vehicle. And it's so frustrating, especially when you've gone and spent the money on something like an HRE, especially when it's a custom wheel or a, a special color that you know that wheel's not coming back to you quickly if you order another one. And the rear steer helps that tail come out just enough to avoid that situation. I love this car. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. It's so quiet. It just does it effortlessly. So what I'm going to do is next up, I oh, that upshift actually sounded fantastic. I'm going to pull over in one of these neighborhoods. I'm going to jump in the back because I want to experience the Batman limo from the rear while Ryan drives. And uh, yeah, this is this is just such a cool experience. Oh, these are so smooth. Soft closed doors, of course. And, you know, as much as I was kind of a critic of the dual layer uh, uh, center console up front when Audi came out with it, I do love having the little touch screens back here so I can play with my seats. I can get my seat cooled. That God, comes out too. Oh, it's so good. The remote control. <laughs> Just in case I can't be bothered to stare at it. That's incredible. Now, Ryan's got lots of great stories, but if we were on a long drive, I could use my headphones down here to pop up my iPad. <laughs> if I can hang on for dear life. It actually sounds better back here, I gotta say. This is wonderful. 
It's incredible because this is the kind of stuff that you would have had to pay like 350 grand for back in the early 2000s if you wanted like a Maybach, like a, like a 57. And now, I mean, not saying it's cheap, but we are nowhere near that price point today for this kind of luxury. Ryan can get a good romp on this, but then we're gonna have to come to an alarming stop. <laughs> I mean, it's almost tempting to put some raucous valve exhaust in this thing. <laughs> it sounds so good. Oh. I know, I know. I think that is kind of the classy part about it. And now we're stuck in traffic, but I got to say, I'm not that angry because we're in a good spot back here. So I think I am going to lay down in this seat because I can. And I picked the perfect time for Ryan to take the wheel. That was not planned, but now that I'm seeing this traffic, I feel like I made the right call. Thank you guys so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Thank you to AI Design in Tuckahoe, New York for inviting me down to drive this S8. Thanks to the owner who uh, fancies himself as the Batman limousine owner. And uh, don't forget to respect the drive. I'll see you in the next one.